Traditionally long hair was always a symbol of masculinity. All of history's great warriors had long hair. From the Greeks who wrote odes to their heroes' hair to the Nordic. From the American Indians famous for their long black shiny hair to the Japanese. The longer and beautiful the hair was, the more manly the warrior was considered. Vikings flaunted their braids and samurais wore their long hair as a symbol of their honor. They cut their hair when they lose honor. When a warrior was captured, his mane was cut to humiliate him, to take away his beauty. That costume resumed in what is today's military service. There when soldiers begin their training the first thing they do is cut their hair, to undermine their self-esteem, make them submissive and make them see quote unquote who's boss. The Romans were the ones who quote unquote invented short hair so to speak, between the 1st and 5th century. In battles they believed this gave them defensive advantages, since their opponents couldn't grab them by the hair, this also helped them to recognize each other in the battlefield. Short hair on men is relatively a new invention that has nothing to do with aesthetics. But today we often see men being humiliated, sometimes called gay for wearing long hair not knowing that short hair is actually quote unquote anti-masculine and is a repressive social imposition. While long hair symbolizes freedom, 